Hello guys, good morning. Today is Sunday and um, I receive a lot of uh, questions about penny stocks. And they say um, most of the beginners they don't have money. It means if you have like 1000, 2000, 5000 or nearly $10,000, um, most of the time you can't buy some stocks like $100 or $200. So what we can do? Now, for penny stocks, penny stocks are generally uh, stocks that are under $5. This is the general idea. Now, the thing is, uh, if you go to penny stocks, most of them, I don't say all, but most of them, if you see, uh, let's say the yearly chart, you find that most of them is going down. Okay? So, even they go up a little bit, they go down. It means in terms of investing, if you are just lucky, like when you gamble, you buy a stock and you leave it five years and it was three cents and then it go one dollar. Yes, you can make money as some people they have made money, but it's like gambling. It's like when you when you scratch a ticket and you win four hundred million dollars or five hundred million dollars. This is it. It's gambling. But you when you are doing a business, you should gamble with you should not gamble with your money. Okay? Um it's it's rare someone succeeds in uh, penny stocks. That's that's why most of the people who go to penny stocks they lose. They lose uh, because not just because uh, of the penny stocks, but because the cost of commission is too much. Okay, it's too much commission. If you if you have only one thousand, how many trade? you do in order that you uh, lose your 1000 just commission I'm not speaking about you win or you lose I even just commission it's your your money now the bid and ask for example if you find the stock that it is one dollar in the bid this is what you sell now if you want to buy it says let's say it says one dollar five cents five cents it means just when you buy if you want to sell, you lose 5% of your money. This is too much money. But the people, they don't, they don't understand this kind of things. That's why a lot of people who are doing penny stocks, most of them, they lose a lot of money. Okay? And especially when they say it's only $500, it's only $1,000. Yes, but $500, if you lose $250 in one trade, you lose 50% of your money in that trade is too much compared this is this is what I'm speaking always about the risk the risk is too much now if you want to do penny stocks now my opinion is you just allocate let's say 10% of your money and you go and play with penny stocks if you succeed to make money let's say for example you have uh, just an example. Let's say you have ten thousand dollars. Take one thousand and do uh, day trades or swing trades of penny stocks. If this one thousand, you can make money. Let's say in two months or six months or next year, and you can make twenty percent or thirty percent or fifty percent of your money. That means that you begin uh, to work good with penny stocks and then you can allocate more money, like $2,000, if you have 10000 okay? But don't play with all your money when you don't know how to trade. Because you, you, you take your 10000 and you put it in a trade and you think that this trade will make you rich. In a few days, you begin to lose $500, $1,000, $2,000 from your money and if you wait too much, you will lose almost all your money, maybe 50% or more, depending on the stock. Another thing that I, uh, I give, just my opinion, because I do myself, is to search for stocks that are not volatile. What does this mean? It means, try 
try to search stocks that have no big candlestick. You see, you see sometimes the stocks that are going slowly. This is what we are looking for. Okay? Good stocks. Good penny stocks. Stocks that are going slowly. 2%, 3%, 5% each day. Okay? It's, it will not be noticed by day traders. So you, you buy, like for us, like a swing trader, we buy things that are not uh, like known by most of the people. Because if it is known, you see volatility in the stock. It means the stock can go from one dollar it goes to one twenty, one dollar twenty cents. Next day it goes from one dollar twenty to one dollar fifty. It goes so high. But the other day it can go from one fifty. It can go to eighty five cents. It can. So it's very very volatile. And even when you use stop loss, it, it doesn't work that much good with with these uh, with this kind of volatility stocks. This is because the people, most of these stocks that have too much volatility, it means there is someone who asks people to go to that stock. And this is the reaction uh, when, uh, when those promoters, those uh, penny stock newsletters, you find a lot. I have shown the video before. There are a lot of, a lot of websites, a lot of uh, uh, YouTube channels. They are devoted to promote some stocks, and each each day, each week, they give you only one stock. Okay, that's why you see a stock. It's trading, for example, let's say fifty thousand shares a day. This is the volume. It traded very, very slow, and you, you, no one knows this stock at all. This company, no one knows about it. One day, you find that this stock goes from one dollar to 150 okay to one dollar fifty cents and you see a big a big candlestick green candlestick really large one so i ask you the question what did happen to this company it's just because of those people who have thousands of subscribers and they say to them okay tomorrow that stock will go up we are sure now, why they say they are sure? Because, uh, because they know that these thousands of people, they put their money in the morning at 9.30 and they buy it blindly. Okay? They buy it. That's why the stock go up so quick in the morning. Okay? So, these kind of, 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 of stocks, we are not interested in them. Why? Because, at first, they don't trade well no one knows about them and then later they become very very volatile and they become liquid it means a lot of people they come to trade some who are professional they know how to trade this kind of stocks so they make uh, too much money from them but most of the beginners they they jump to these stocks they lose money so for us like for swing uh, traders like for me I'm, I'm i'm not i'm not going to do volatile stocks I'm going to do stocks that go slowly up. Okay, if it's one dollar, next day is one dollar five cents. Now five cents. If you buy one thousand shares, okay, so uh, you begin you begin to see the money slowly. After a few days, five days, one week, two weeks, three weeks, you begin to see 200, 500, 700, 1,000 dollars. You begin to see the money, but slowly. Now, whenever this stock is known, some a lot of people, they know it, it, it becomes to become like a volatile, it goes up very quick, it goes down very quick, and it will be a problem. And you cannot follow it anymore. And you can even, you make money and then you can lose money. So... The good thing is, follow these kinds of, of stocks, most of the time they are not discovered until you make that much money and then always you put stop loss whenever there is a volatility to go down or up so you, you quit this uh, thing and, um, uh, and you make, uh, and you make uh, the money. Okay? 
Uh, I have done uh, before a video called um, my best uh, penny stock in a chart and you can see these kind of stocks that go very very slowly but sure money sure money it means um, uh, w when you buy it's going up and for few days few weeks few months depends on the stock but believe me when these stocks are known they become uh, very very hard to trade because you should do day trading and you should wait and you should uh, uh, do day trading for me I, I'm not doing day trading so I don't want to spend all my morning uh, trading this kind of things okay and uh, this is I'm always interested in swing trading I'm not interested in day, day trading for now okay I have done tra uh, day trading before but it's uh, it's a lot of stress a lot of time uh, you should see the news you should see a lot of stuff and I am not going to do that right now okay I'm trying to do the easiest way to work like two day uh, two hours a day that's it okay one hour for uh, for searching for stocks and the other hour to adjust my positions or to buy more or to sell the others or most of the time what when I sell is just uh, uh, the uh, stock hit my stop loss and uh, I exit it automatically okay so this is two hours work a day from two o'clock to four o'clock that's it in my way of trading okay so I don't want to to have the whole day in the market uh, following the news following what's happened because you can't there are thousands of stocks thousands of news each day so how, how can you how can you continue and people who are just uh, doing this as entertainment uh, for me uh, it's business I'm not doing uh, stock market as entertainment I don't entertain myself by knowing that uh, Apple has gone up uh, Google has gone down uh, here there is an earning here co company has gone uh, bankrupt it's not I don't do entertainment if I want to entertain myself I go to watch a movie in the movie theater or I do something else or to have a trip or uh, I travel somewhere this is uh, how I make I make uh, like uh, entertainment but uh, it's not it's not to go to stock market and watch these TVs and CNBC and CNN and they give you whatever they like and they 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 uh, they bombard you with all this news and uh, that for you you don't make money so it's just for entertainment some people they like it and they like to put in their head a lot of information that they will never use if they say uh, Apple today is 600 and uh, and uh, uh, it, uh, it was uh, 600 yesterday and today is 650 oh the good news okay have I buy uh, Apple no so it's why should I uh, be interested in, in that stock if I don't buy it if I buy it and I make money in the morning and I see from 600 and I have 650 okay I make a video I say oh I'm lucky and I have done what is to be done and I follow uh, Apple and then I get I get the money or Google or any other kind of stock but since you you are not in the trade and you get the information so what is it what is it for you you entertain yourself you, you are wasting your time and maybe you think oh next time I will do the same I will buy before the uh, the earning date and I will have this uh, $50 for each share I buy okay next time you go and you do uh, you buy and then the next day the bad earnings comes okay and you lose fifty dollars for each share you buy so you lose your shirt so that's in this kind okay so it's not always the information that you get you can make money off there is nothing static that for example you do this you can make money of this no there is no there is no a sure thing I have told many times but a lot of people they they don't understand what does it mean when they say I am sure and there is no sure in a uh, sure thing in the market when you want to trade you should be sure 100% that the stock goes up if you are going long now why you you should be sure you should be sure because you be confident in your skills okay if next day the, the market is against you it's okay it's just a trade 
uh, you lose the trade you don't lose yourself no you you are not a loser it's just the trade that uh, that you lost that you lose some money in but this is this is normal you are doing trading and it's a risky business you should see a lot of a lot of uh, losing trades but you should see other good uh, trades that makes cover your uh, expenses and you will have a profit this is how the trade is done someone he tells you that uh, I am perfect that I do any trade and they make money uh, tell him just you are a liar because you can't you can't outperform the market it means uh, the market uh, um, you are always with the direction of the market which is impossible okay as a trader so you as a trader you shouldn't be um, looking for perfection in trading you should be just a normal guy who do uh, who does few good trades that you can make too much money and then we have some trades that that you lose a uh, little money because you do stop loss so in the average you see that your account is always growing up each month after month each month even if you have one month or two that it's down and it's not good it's just because maybe the uh, the market is down and you are buying long and so you have a conflict and you you don't know the direction that's why you have some uh, some trades that are bad in one month or two but it's okay because the third month or fourth month the stock market is going up it means someone doesn't go up and you buy in that and you make the money again you cover your expenses your uh, you cover all your losses and then you have a profit the next month the next month the next month and you will have money this is how money is made in the stock market okay there is no one who tells you that uh, any trade they do is uh, is a success uh, this is not gonna happen in the stock market okay either he is a liar or he is he has never traded anything or he just shows you uh, good trades that he have done and he miss the other trades and he hides them okay so uh, this is it for uh, for uh, penny stocks so as I told you before we go to s to sum up all what I have said is just try to trade the stock that are not volatile because few people know this stock it means for you when you search a lot when you whenever you find the volume is is little 50,000 100,000 100, you will understand most of the time if the stock is going up and there is no volatility it means that this stock some people are buying secretly and they know that most of the people will not discover this that's why anything in the market is hidden no one will show your hand okay no one will tell you oh okay today I will buy uh, Facebook okay because tomorrow it goes up no because uh, because anything that is related to the money is a secret even in the stock market when they say oh today the market is up but but yesterday they don't tell you that tomorrow the market will be up until you buy something they don't tell you it's they give you the past so all this news that it is coming is in time it's the past now for us like swing trader like a uh, day trader like uh, like investor we are looking for the future if you tell me uh, last year Google has done this 100% or 6% or yes but this is the past but do you think that Google will do this this year is there a guarantee there is no guarantee so maybe you buy Google and it goes minus uh, 40% you don't know okay uh, it's not because it makes a uh, uh, good search engine or it makes uh, products or uh, like uh, someone uh, told me it, it, it is not it depends on the mutual funds who buy the stock buy a lot and keep that's why this the stocks big stocks go up and up and up each year because the, all the mutual funds are buying that kind of stock okay so in other as I told you to summarize to sum it up you try to do like for example 10% of your money if you have ten thousand dollars put one thousand to penny stock and try okay if you succeed and you have a way to enter into exit either day trade or swing trade or investing if you have a way and you can make the money that's it because no one will ask you what did you do the main thing in the stock market is you make the money 
you do whatever you want you do stocks you do options you do penny stocks you do futures you do forex where commodities whatever you want to do the main thing is are you making the money yes or no what is your performance last year are you making some kind of money or are you neutral you don't you buy for example you have some money and you lose some money and you are neutral your account is the same or you are losing the money okay if you are a beginner even if you don't make the money and you are just neutral it's okay because you are learning you are doing something good something bad and then in the future your skills will change to better skills to ameliorate and you do a lot of work and then you can see that you can get the money in the future okay so thank you very much if you have any question about this kind of penny stocks just uh, um, um, uh, comment or send me a private message thumb it up or subscribe if you haven't thank you very much